Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is a Dollar Tree haul and I went kind of nuts today in Dollar Tree because I stopped at one that I don't normally go to. It's a bit larger and newer so the newer stores here in my area tend to have um, the newer nicer things that I'm seeing everybody haul. I am still looking for a few things but um, to get started the non-Halloween things I got a um, plastic box here for an embellishment box that's coming up. I gotta work on that tonight. I got these um, magnet bookmarks. Hadn't seen those before so these make um, nice <coughs> <coughs> nice additions in your embellishment boxes, pocket letters, anything really. So I got those. Um, I got this keychain I'd not seen. It's just a puffy heart or a, pu a puffy ball with a unicorn horn. Again, I'm collecting stuff for a unicorn swap that I don't have going on. So, anyway, um, for harvest season or Thanksgiving, autumn, I got these metal words. And they only had one, or I would have gotten more, but for a buck. You can add these to a menagerie of projects, um, and they're small enough that you can also uh, add these to Happy Mail. So I got those. I got this plastic mirror, and I have um, an idea to... I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm sure there's something on YouTube that I can um, look at, but I want to make this into a Halloween styled mirror for my Halloween uh, YouTube swap. So I thought that would be cool to try. We'll see if it works out. Um, I got two different treat bags for the season. Um, this one I thought was really, really cute. And then I got these plastic ones because I like the font on, the, on this. And it has different ones in there, I think. Or maybe they're all the same. If they're all the same, that's great. But there are 25 in this one and 12 in this one. So, got those. Um, also, for Halloween swaps, I got two packs of pencils. I think these are cute. Um to add to your pocket letters, anything, any of your happy mail. These are cute additions, so I like getting pencils because I do use pencils, but I thought those were cute. Um, the next thing I got, this again is for my Halloween swap, and it's just a little pumpkin box. I thought I could fill it with goodies and that it would be really cute. I found a coffin. I'm going to um, recover this, decoupage it somehow. Um, it's not quite spooky enough for me, but it is for the Halloween swap that I'm doing, so that will also be filled with goodies. I found two stickers that I thought were cute, these ghosts, and they're dimensional. They feel like chipboard, and they have glitter on them. And then these, um, Day of the Dead, the Dia de la Muerta. So I thought those were really cute. Grabbed those. I should have gotten more, but I was in the moment. Um, we'll go ahead and do the wooden signs. I love, love, love the wooden signs at Dollar Tree. Um, I got a few last year, and these are different. I've not seen these um, at Dollar Tree before. So I got this Day of the Dead skull. And it's really cool. It looks like it has wood planks, but it's glittered up. And um, I'm going to use the, or I'm going to hang this year round in my craft room because this is my style. So I got that. And I got this one. Love, love, love this. Again, it looks like the wooden planks. And um, this one I'm going to hang on the outside of the craft room door. So I thought that was cute. This one I've seen um, redone on Pinterest, so it just says home of a handsome devil, a wicked witch, and their little monsters, which in our case means 
our dogs, our fur babies, and they are monsters. <clears throat> and then last, I got this, the Society of Black Cats, a fly-by-night group. I thought this was just really, really cute for Dollar Tree. I mean, this looks very similar to some of the ones I've seen at um, Michael's, so couldn't beat that for a dollar. And I do decorate, mega decorate for Halloween. So, with that said, I did grab this door hanger, and it's the witch feet. And she has her little stockings. So I thought that was really cute. Not quite sure where I'm going to put this yet, but I will find a place. Don't you worry. And then, um, so here's a little story. I, after Halloween last year, I bought, as soon as Walmart put it out, I bought a black Christmas tree. Obviously, it was too late to decorate for Halloween, so I decorate Christmas non-traditionally on my black Christmas tree. So with that said, I, I didn't buy any <coughs> Halloween decor for the tree yet. So that's why I went to Dollar Tree because I've seen people hauling some really cute um, decorations. I didn't find any today, so I'm still on the hunt and I am looking for them. But what I did find for the tree was this bow and I like the colors. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stick with the orange, purple, and um, green. So I got that bow. And I got this bow to probably pair with my banner on the mantle that I'm gonna make. So I got that. And then for the tree, I did get some spiders. So this is the purple color. And this is the orange color, and I got two of each. So, so far that is what I have to decorate my Halloween tree. And of course I will show you guys um, my Halloween decor once I get it together and going. Um, it's still a bit early because I do keep my tree up from October to December, and it doesn't come down until the day after Christmas. So, <laughs> it stays up enough that... I'm not allowed to take it out until October 1st. So you guys stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Much love.